Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Matt Biscuits, and I'm back with episode 13? 14? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what episode it is, I'm not gonna lie. Anywho, episode number doesn't matter, we're back, and first game of today's episode is Scunthorpe United at home against Bristol Rovers. And the season's actually winding down to a close, so we just need to finish it out as strong as we can, and hopefully it'll start right now. Ooh, you know what? Probably should have rotated my team a little bit. My, I noticed my front three, my my cam here, and my two strikers are a little knackered. But th I'm pretty sure they'll be able to get through most of this game. So, I'm sure they'll, fi they'll be fine. Bristol Rovers are actually putting us under quite a bit of pressure right now. Um, which is strange. Because I've found that a lot more teams are doing that to me lately, and I don't appreciate it. Halftime. Uh, nil-nil. But Bristol Road, I can't break them down. I don't... I don't know what fucking steroids they got the defense on, but they're impossible to break down right now. Great through ball through to Martinez from Thomas. Caught back on it, son. Put it in. Oh, wow, he pulled a muscle putting in the cross. Wow. Thomas Quinn's through. Thomas Quinn's through on goal. Thomas Quinn's still with it. Thomas Quinn! Yes! <laughs> he finally scores a goal in the first game of the episode. It's been a while since he's done that. So, I'm happy for him. Great job, bro. Full time. And we managed to get a 1-0 win over Bristol Rovers. It was a bit dodgy that uh, first half. Bristol putting a lot of pressure on us. But we came through in the end. We had two really good chances to score. And we took one of them. And that was the difference. Second game of the episode is Walsall at home against Scunthorpe United. And we've had to rotate the team pretty heavily here. Um, actually, I do want to give McKeith another game. So we're going to put him in as well. And, def screw it, we'll give Ke uh, Feeney and Katawari a game. We're going to give the captaincy over to McKeith. And that's the lineup we're going with. So, uh, Walsall just scored. <laughs> so that didn't take very long for my rotated defense to just get absolutely exposed. Like, I don't even... You change two players in your defense, well, well, three. You change three players in your defense, and all of a sudden, they just get completely exposed. McCutcheon's through. McCutcheon puts it wide. What the fuck is wrong with my strikers? They just do not score when they should. Graham's through on goal now. Graham, Graham buries it. So why can my winger finish better than my striker? I do not understand the logic. Halftime. Schools 1-1. One, one. Um, probably deservedly so. Like, Walsall's had a few good chances to score, so it could have been more, actually. We did make one change at halftime. Morrison coming on for uh, Mason because Mason was looking a bit on the knackered side. So hopefully Ma um, Morrison can come in and do, do, Jesus Christ, can come in and do a job for us. And God knows we really need him to right now. Wow, I, I couldn't even clear the ball. The fucking, like, this ping pong defending shit is ridiculous. Like, I press circle to fucking clear it, and he heads it right to the guy's feet. Like, I get it out, bro. Like, what, why are you heading it down with a clearance? That's, that makes no fucking sense. Now, hopefully, 
Hopefully I can fucking score it this time, because we all know how my track record is with penalties. Wow! <laughs> wow! I just, I can't score penalties. It, it, penalties are fucking broken in this game. Oh my fucking god! Are you fucking kidding me? If they score another fucking goal because I can't get the ball out of my own half, I swear to fucking god, I will lose my shit. Full time, and I, f I lost this fucking game just because the clearance button doesn't do jack shit when the ball's in the air. Like, if, if the ball's in the air, don't even fucking bother trying to clear it, because you're just gonna give it right back to the other team anyway, for fuck's sake. Fucking shit's broken. Third and final game of the episode is Scunthorpe at home against Southend. And I swear to God, I swear to God, if they score a bullshit goal off of me not being able to clear the ball, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna really lose it. Half time. And that was a boring first half, but also a frustrating first half. Because it seems like everybody could fucking defend, like, the Jose Mourinho's Man United when they were kind of good. With, so, like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. They are literally- They're about to fucking score! Oh my god! If- Honest to god, if they would have scored that, I would have just fucking yeeted my control across the room. Full time. Fuck this game. This game's fucking retarded. Is this game having a fucking laugh? Oh my god. South End left to room miss chat. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, I've had enough. I've had enough of this fucking game today. I. Okay. Alright, yeah, South End had plenty of missed chances in that game. Uh huh. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, you know the deal, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, ding the bell for notifications, and I'll see you dudes next time, peace.